I'm Maddie from Mason Lear and here on YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a very exciting DIY summer tumbler room decor. There's actually two parts to this video. The first part is the part you're watching right now and the other part is on my channel so if you aren't subscribed to me or if you haven't ever seen me before you should totally go out and check out the video in the description box down below and also subscribe to me because you know why not? <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV and thumbs up this video and yeah let's get started. So firstly today we're making some DIY wall decor. You call this a pretty simple wall decor piece or a dream catcher or whatever you want to. So what you will need will be a wooden stick, I just got mine from outside my house, a wooden bead garland, a fabric spray paint, two types of thread, neo merino and spaghetti, and also a scissor. So I'm going to start out with taking a piece of the spaghetti yarn and double knot it to the wooden stick. Continue doing that until you cover the entire wooden stick in yarn with double knots, so yeah. So now you want to damp the yarn and spray the bottom of the tapestry with some blue spray paint and then just let that dry. While you're drying it, make small yarn tassels from white Milo wool yarn. Get the tassels long hangers so you can tie them to the wooden stick at various heights later on. If you don't know how to make yarn tassels, just follow along or search another tutorial on YouTube, there are plenty. You can make however many towels you would like. I just made two because I found it pretty time consuming and I didn't have that much time. Uh, anyway, then you want to take the wooden uh, bead garland and you just want to tie that to the top. And then you want to tie the tassels to the wooden stick and you want to play around with it with the different heights and stuff. Lastly, you want to take the spaghetti yarn and you just want to tie two knots at each end of the wooden stick just so that you can hang it up in your room. And that's that. It looks amazing. Next up, we're making a nightstand, and yes, you saw and heard right, we're making a nightstand. So, what you'll need will be some white paint, a big rectangular box, design drill, a tapestry or paper knife, and a paintbrush. Also, you could use some table legs if you want to. So you want to start out with painting the inside of the box white. You could also paint the outside, however, I wanted my outside to match the color of my floor. Remember to paint two layers if your paint isn't completely opaque yet. Next up, you want to grab your measuring band and you want to measure the inside of the box both lengthwise and heightwise. Now you want to grab your design foil and on the back you want to draw measurings and where you want to cut. Get your tapestry or roller knife out, you could use either, and cut along the line. Using a roller will help the lines get straighter but it isn't necessary. Now get that baby out of there and place it into your box. Peel off the back so that the adhesive side faces down and then just grab a ruler or a card or whatever you want and just gently press it on. Just like this, super easy. Now this part is optional but if you want to you could go ahead and add some legs to your night table. Just screw it on under the night table. Just get some help from your parents if you need to. And voila! That is that. It's now This DIY jewelry holder is probably one of the easiest DIYs I've ever done. So what you'll need will be a ceramic item. I'm just using moose antlers and also a spray paint. I'm using gold. So what you want to do is just basically spray paint your ceramic item of choice. And if you want to add something a little bit special, tape somewhere before you spray paint. And when the spray paint is dry, you can just peel the tape off and you will be left with the perfect white stripe. And then you can just hang whatever you want on it, like jewelry, or bracelets, or rings, or whatever you want to. And that's that. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it very much. If you did, remember to give this video a big fat thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.